Hello there, wonderful people of God, people who are conscious of the fact that the difference in the you of before and after conversion is seen by the watching world through your intentions, your actions, your reactions, and your interactions. Yes, that explains why 2 Corinthians 5.17 makes it clear that if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. Behold, all things have passed away and everything has become new. Hallelujah. Warm welcome to your weekly gospel encouragement program, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves and miss daily discouragement. We heartily appreciate you all for your all-round support to us, especially those who take the time to watch, to like, to comment, to share, to subscribe, and to apply the lessons learned from our little sharings. We pray that may God give you an encounter and bless you with all-round increase. That may the blessings of Isaiah 52 verse 7, which says that blessed are those who propagate the gospel, be your portion in Jesus' name. If you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed, this is an appeal for you to please do so, so that together we can do our utmost to push the gospel to the ends of the earth. May God bless you as you subscribe and share. My brother, my sister, if Christ is not your Lord and Savior of your life, quit living a life of sin. Accept Christ as your Lord and Savior now that you still have the opportunity to do so. And if you once gave your life to Christ, but for reasons beyond your control, you took back the life. It is imperative to give back that life to Christ before it becomes too late. And if Christ is actually Lord and Savior of your life, live a life that is pleasant in the sight of the Father. That will serve as a magnet and not a repellent to the watching will. We pray for ways and directions that the Spirit of God will touch brothers and sisters out there to share such videos, to propagate the gospel so that that brother or sister will be encouraged to give their lives to Christ and to live their lives for Christ. May God bless you as you share the good news through such videos. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, we've been able to share several topics from slots 1 to slots 239. The last being the fact that we need to arm ourselves with sophisticated weapons in order to fight our spiritual and physical battles. And some of the weapons that we have are the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the word of God, the fire of the Holy Ghost, and of course, the ability to pray without ceasing. May God help us to practice what we preach in Jesus' name. Today in Slots 240, we have as topic before and after the encounter. Yes, and our main passage is Malachi chapter 3 from verse 16 to 18, with the main verse being verse 18, in which we are told that there must be a visible difference between those who serve God and those who don't serve God. Praise the Lord. Beloved in the Lord, some of us, we go by the title believers only by word of mouth, only in theory. But practically speaking, we are a far cry from the believers that we ought to be. The Bible says that we need to show that there is a difference between the life that we lived before and the life that we live now that we have come to Christ. Look at the example of Moses. He sends himself out of anger to kill an Egyptian in Exodus chapter 2 from verse 11 downwards. And consequently, he is pulled out of Egypt. But when he has an encounter with Christ in Exodus 3 from verse 1 downwards, he comes back to Egypt dependent on God, a more patient and humble person, to a point where even when in Numbers chapter 12 from verse 1, his sister and his brother are teasing him. He doesn't retaliate. He doesn't react. He instead pleads on their behalf. But some of the things will not just go away automatically. Anger is still lingering. That is why in Exodus, in Numbers chapter 20, from verse 10 downwards, you discover that out of anger, instead of speaking to the rock, Moses goes ahead to strike the rock. Look at the example of Peter. Peter who denies Jesus three times in Matthew 26 from verse 33 to 35. Peter who is so afraid of the waves that he finds himself sinking in Matthew 14, 22 to 33. When he is empowered by the Holy Spirit in Acts 2 from verse 14 downwards, Peter is bold enough to preach to a point where 3,000 people repent and are baptized. Look at the example of Apostle Paul, oh, a renowned and well-known persecutor. But when he has an encounter in Acts chapter 9 from verse 1 downwards, Apostle Paul lives a life for Christ to a point where he says in Philippians 1 21, that for me to live is Christ and for me to die is gain. What about the Samaritan woman? She's unable to come to the well when others are coming because of her story, because of her sordid past. But when she has an encounter with Christ in John chapter 4, from the seven downwards, this woman becomes the latest evangelist. She who was afraid to meet people before is now running to meet people to preach the gospel. That's because when you encounter Christ, 
God is interested in the broken pieces so that he will beautify the broken pieces of your life for his glory. That explains why if Christ is not your Lord and Savior of your life, just bow your head and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with the blood of the Lamb. Give me the power to live right and the power to hate sin and do the right thing. And behold, you will be getting it right before it becomes too late. Remember that God is not interested in perfect human beings. God is interested in people who are ready to come to him, according to Matthew eleven twenty eight, so that he will give them rest. He will take the yoke that is heavy and give them the yoke that is light. Lord, give us grace, not just to be hearers of your word, but to be doers of your word. Give us an encounter and the grace to apply the lessons learned from such videos and also to share to be a blessing. Remember that the Bible is the road, Jesus the code, sin the obstacle, and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people of God.